Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here. I've got another critique video of one of my students' storyboards, so let's get into it. The focus for this one is gonna be on choosing the right types of camera shots to go and express the story that you wanna tell. Okay, so real quick. Um, got a grid right here, we got a character, we got a background, looks like a super, it looks like a wide shot, not super wide, and the character says something, and then eventually comes upon a house, and then all of a sudden we're in the house. Notice the character is constantly dead center in each of these frames, so let's try to level that up just a bit with a couple of different panels, and let's try to explore not only wide shots, but let's do some medium and close-ups, okay? So first things first, let me, let me get my grid over here. I'm, I'm gonna make some kind of a, a landscape where there's a road and there's some trees and some other stuff. There we go. Now if I start there, I could duplicate this panel and with the duplicated panel, let me add a new layer. And let's have our character kind of walk in. And let's give her a strong silhouette with the hair so that way we could tell um, who our character is. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate this panel as well. And then let me, let me choose a separate layer and I'm gonna sketch the character here so it looks as if she's walking in the scene, okay? So there we go, she's walking, there we go. I'm gonna take this second layer, delete it. So we got a one and a two and a three. So now I've got some movement that's happening inside the film, okay? If I go back to my student's um, storyboard, notice that the main character comes upon a house and notices it. So now that I have this character, let's go choose a medium shot. So I'm gonna go here and let's go and get a brand new panel and let's do a medium shot of this character because it might be cool for us to know, oh, who is this person that we're following? Who is this person that we're seeing? And what is it that they're noticing? Okay, so let's have her notice. Ooh, there's something over there. Okay, so one, two, three, and then a four, so we know who that is. Um, don't forget your grids, don't forget your backgrounds and your trees. Remember, this is just thumbnailing. This is coming up with shot choices, okay? So now what I can do is if I want, I can go and get another panel and then maybe have her decide to run to the house. Uh, might as well m capitalize on that. It makes more sense to use this medium shot. If I'm gonna go make a background for this actual animation, I, want, I, I should at least use it um, to have some animation happening, okay? So here she is, she's there, she notices the house, she starts running towards it. Now what we can do is go back to this original shot um, in the middle where the character happens upon the house, okay? Let's go here, let's get a new panel. House should be kind of on the right because the character is usually over here on the left. So let me just put that house there. It's not going to be too 3D and perfect, but whatever. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to illustrate a point of how you come up with ideas. Let's have her running towards the house now. Okay. And get that silhouette with the hair uh, with her bob. Okay, that looks pretty good. Next, what I should do is either have her at the door. So let's go and do an insert shot. So now let's put the doorknob right here. Right click and I'm gonna duplicate this panel. And then all of a sudden in this new one, I'm gonna have a hand reaching for the door. Two, three, four. And she's gonna reach for it. I don't really need to go and you know, have her, you know, grabbing onto the handle and opening it, but you know, you get the idea. So what happens now is we've got, we've got this nice wide shot and it looks a little bit more 3D. We've got a medium shot, which is gonna show some emotion. She's getting excited and she's running. Um, maybe we have another wide shot to show some action. And then of course we've got this medium -ish shot that's gonna show um, this hand that's gonna come in. Um, let's go and let's duplicate this panel right here. Kind of running out of time, so I want to end this video soon. Let's go and end this one. And instead, 
Um, <laughs> let's draw. Let's draw the hand grabbing onto the actual door and really shaking. Okay, and this is such a terrible drawing. I'm kind of embarrassed by it, but whatever. Um, <laughs> go ahead and have this hand reach in, grab the door, shake, and it's not working. And then we can go to a new panel where the girl is pretty angry. And why is she angry? Because she's trying to open the door, but it's not working. And then have her kind of shaking back and forth. And then go to a new panel. So we had that medium. Then maybe we're gonna show her. Uh, let's go to another type of medium shot after that close up. And she's trying to pull that handle and it's just not working. The whole door is buckling from the force that she's putting to try to uh, get this thing to open up. <laughs> and then uh, let's go back and let's do an extreme close up. So let's get a new panel and really show how angry and furious she is because she can't get into the house. Okay, maybe she's the big bad wolf, whatever. <laughs> All right, so as we end this video, let's go back and take a look at what we had originally intended. We wanted to have a, some kind of an establishing sh a scene where the characters walking by comes upon a house and now we're in. What we did instead was we made some kind of a 3D environment, duplicated panels, and redrew on separate layers to imply movement with a wide shot. We did a cut so we could see who we're focusing on. Who's the main character? What is the main character doing? By the way, if she's gonna run, where is she running to? Ah, makes sense, motivates the cut, so we can actually see the house that she's running to. Then, we should go into a close-up or an insert shot of the door, a little bit of business where she tries to open. If she has a little bit of trouble with that, then it makes sense to show this facial expression cut to a full body so we could see what's happening and then cut back to a su extreme close up. Okay? Go give this stuff a try and use a variety of shots to communicate and tell your story. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.